Wayne Strada here with Charlie the Spaniard Brenneman. How are you, Charlie? I'm doing well. It's pretty neat to be here at the Expo. It's going well. Your next fight is June 20th, and it's going to be on USC on Fox. Yep. Excited? Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's on FX. Um, but yeah, it's the first show on FX. First time the UFC is switching over from Spike, so it's a pretty big opportunity. I'm actually fighting. Three of my teammates are also on that card, so hopefully it's going to be an AMA Fight Club night. Uh, something I looked up, you are the first season's winner of Pros vs. Joe. How was that experience? It was awesome. You know, it, a lot, probably for the last five years, you know, a ton of people asked that question. Not many recently, though, so it's neat you brought that up. It was awesome. The, the pros were so nice to us. They understood how you know, awesome it was for us to be able to, to be on TV, to play with the pros, etc. And at that time, fighting wasn't even in my future, so it's kind of neat to, you know, kind of be the pro now. Your next fight's against Daniel Ninja Roberts. Uh, did you start training already? Yeah, you know, I trained, I took about a week off after my last fight, uh, let my head heal up a little bit, and then I got right back at it, so I've been training, you know, pretty hardcore for the last two months already. Do you do anything different in this camp as compared to the others? You know, a little bit. Uh, you know, our mentality, our philosophy at AMA, where I train, <clears throat> we do game plan and we do strategize, but we always have the, the awareness that an opponent can change at any time. So I'm working on honing my skills, and then we'll critique it a little bit towards the end on, on what exactly he's good at. Are you, are you, is there any extra pressure being on, um, on FX? No, you know, not really. There's pressure, you know, in being that I lost my last fight. Nobody likes to lose two fights in a row, but... I was just thinking about this today, you know, I put that stuff over here and I keep the, the positive, you know, energy, positive vibes and look look ahead. Yeah, I, I remember your last fight which was against Rumble Johnson and I actually thought, in my opinion, that it was cut a little too early. Uh, were you upset about that? What, what are your thoughts? You know, I, I could have, you know, could I have continued? Yes. Would it hurt me worse? Nobody knows. You know, it's one of those things where it happened and, and rather than, you know, make excuses or, you know, Look, otherwise it, it happened, and so I just got to move ahead. Yeah, and, and what's interesting about Rumble is that he cut so much weight. It's pretty much like fighting like a heavyweight or something, you know. But uh, nonetheless, I want to thank you. I just want to say, uh, how's Snooki doing? Snooki is doing well. We just had, I just ate, ate dinner last Sunday. We had Sunday dinner, and, and I'm collecting some of her autographs for my family because they got to meet her, and none of, they're both teachers, and none of the students believe they got to meet her. So, and Charlie, the Spaniard Brenneman, thank you very much for the interview. Appreciate it.